Hello, and welcome to Conservation Skills in 10 Minutes or Less. This series of short, skill-based videos is brought to you by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's National Conservation Training Center in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. If you have a couple of minutes, pull up a chair and pick up a new conservation skill or maybe refresh an old one on topics ranging from fish culture to bird identification to stream restoration. Enjoy. Okay, in this segment we're going to talk about backing up slant cultures. The slant cultures are the first step in the algae culture process. These particular slants, you can buy stock cultures from the University of Texas, uh, a whole variety of species, uh, depending on what species that you want for uh, your mussel culture. Um, the problem is, is the slants have nutrients in it and at some point the nutrients are going to be used up by the algae. So it's important that you, on a periodic basis, transfer the algae from one slant to another so that it has fresh media to grow. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So normally it's really important that you do this step in a sterile environment or using aseptic technique. Because these are the stock cultures that you're gonna be using to step up to various culture sizes, from slant to flask to carboy culture to even a bioreactor if that's what you're going to use. Um, it's important that these stay as a monoculture. And you might ask, why do you, why do you need a monoculture when you're growing mussels? It's, it's not critical that you have a monoculture, but the things that that allows you to do is to have consistency. So you know exactly what you're feeding mussels. You know what the nutritional content is of that species. Whereas if you're just growing algae, say, in an outdoor pond, the community of algae can fluctuate during the day, during the season, and you, don't, you may have a failure in your muscle culture and you don't know exactly what happened. In this case, you know exactly what you're feeding, so you have a little bit more control of the system. So that's why it's important to keep monocultures. Now, to keep monocultures, you need to use aseptic technique, which means you don't want to get any bacteria, algae, or other contaminants into the system. So, normally, I would do this process under a hood. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just doing this out on the counter so that the camera can see exactly what we're going to do. But again, what we're going to do is transfer our slant cultures from our stock slants to a sterile slant so that they'll have fresh media to grow. So the things that you need for that are, of course, your stock culture. You need a, a sterile loop or some kind of sterile device that you can transfer the algae from one slant to another. And then, of course, you need a sterile slant that has fresh media added. You can purchase slants or you can make your own. This one has been made, but you see this little piece of tape here on the top that's got the black lines through it. That's called autoclave tape. And you put this over the slant, and before it's autoclaved, it doesn't have those black lines. Those black lines are formed when the really high steam temperatures in the autoclave turn that strip black so that you know, okay, this, this guy has been sterilized. It's very clear when you, when you pick it up. Okay, this is the sterile loop. You can buy these um, sterile. You'll notice that there's a large loop on one end and a small loop on the other end. It's really your preference as to which, which of those loops that you want to use for the transfer process. For the transferring from slant to slant, I tend to use the small loop because you want to get a small amount of algae on the fresh slant because uh, the more algae you get, the quicker it's going to use up the available media in that fresh slant. So whichever end you're going to use, open the package from the opposite end. Again, we want to use aseptic technique and be as sterile as possible. So anything that's going to come in contact with the algae, you don't want to touch. With, with, you don't want to touch it to your clothes, to your gloves, or to anything. You only want to touch it to the algae or something that is also sterile. So in this case, I'm going to use the small loop, so I'm going to open it from the big side. Okay. 
and then I'm going to take this stock culture here and I like to <clears throat> put the tube in my pinky like this to ho holding on to the cap and to untwist the cap you just instead of twisting the cap you twist the vial and the cap just stays stationary in your finger and then you insert the loop grab an inoculum of algae the cap is still in your pinky again just twist the vial grab your fresh slant do the same thing grab it with your pinky twist the cap notice I still haven't touched my loop to anything insert the inoculum and then just kind of back and forth streak it onto the plate or onto the uh, auger slant. Same thing, twisting the vial to tighten, tighten it all the way down and then back it off just a tiny bit to let the air exchange. And that's how you transfer algae from one slant to another. Thanks again for joining us for conservation skills in 10 minutes or less. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like or hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend, or even check out one of the many other skill-based videos we have in this series. Have a great day and always remember, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you.